What's up everybody, it's Ennis here. Welcome to another episode. This week we're in Hollywood Hills looking at these amazing views and about to tour this stunning, newly constructed modern home right in front of me. This house has six bedrooms, 10 baths, 10,097 square feet of interior space built on a 15,000 square foot lot. And this property is currently on the market for $21,995,000. As always, we will leave more information about the property down in the description. And before we start our tour, I want to thank the listing agents, Sally Forster Jones and Vincent Demura for allowing us to tour their amazing listing. Now let's begin our tour. This house is located on a quiet cul-de-sac and from the street level we have the gate opening up to this driveway. House also sits on a promontory, gets amazing views, we're going to see that in a minute. Covered carport here, you can probably park about three to four cars very easily and as we go in you're welcomed on the left hand side with this water feature and the steps that takes you to the covered entry. Now let's go inside. Here we are at the entry. We have this massive 10 foot white oak pivot door that welcomes you into the property. Right in front of us, we have the amazing living room, dining area and the kitchen. You see the views all the way to downtown Los Angeles. Before we go in there, why don't we take this hallway and we have two powder rooms that serves this level. Mikey, let's go in this one first. We have the same limestone floors, floating vanity design, marble countertops, marble back wall with LED lit mirror and Mikey can we get a close-up they have this really unique vanity sink with a tin profile I just think it looks very elegant yeah it's really nice one thing I'm curious about we see this in a few houses are these like marble looking uh they're not looking they're actual marble are they marble I was yeah, gonna ask are. that or if they're like a paper that's supposed to look like marble they are certainly marble well they look good yeah those look really cool all right right on the other side we have the exact same replica another powder room now as we go in here, this is where we have the office. This room counts as one of the bedrooms in this house, facing towards the back of the property. You get a beautiful window frame here, looking towards the water feature off of the entry. Desk set up here, built-ins on the back. And since it counts as one of the bedrooms, we have a walk-in closet here and going in, this is where we have the bathroom. We have marble mosaic floors brought up to this wall as well, right behind the vanity and going in, Shower is here with beautiful marble walls, chrome fixtures, and a floating vanity design on the other side. And as we go out, there's one more thing I would like to point out. Mikey, stay right there. They also have this beautiful solid wood barn door to seal off this office. I know you love barn doors. I love them. I'm just curious. I know we're going to get comments about it. Mm -hmm. Why would they put two bathrooms across from each other right here? Convenience. Imagine you have 50, 60 people up here. This house is incredible for entertainment. You want to just have one powder room? Think about that. Makes sense. There you go. Now, we're back at the entry and looking at this amazing living room dining area. Let's start with the living room. It's all open. We have these floor to ceiling glass doors opening up to the amazing views. Ton of natural light coming in. Seating area over here. And this beautiful built-in setup with this massive gas fireplace right in the center. And I love the marble they used. It's book match pretty much throughout. And I'm glad they didn't put up a TV here because that marble is just beautiful to look at. I would honestly leave it all open. But very cozy space. And we have these glass doors. I mean, this opening is mass uh, massive. And we have these automatic glass doors that pockets into the wall there, opens up this entire space. We're gonna see that in a bit. Now, as we continue, we have the staircase on the other side going down to the lower level. Also beautiful white oak paneling that kind of warms up the entry and this side of the home. 
And between the kitchen and the living room area, we have the dining area. Table for 10, beautiful chandelier above. And even from here, you enjoy the amazing views. Also, Mikey, I'm just realizing, pan up to the ceiling for a second. We don't have any AC diffusers, built-in speakers because they're all hidden in the walls. And they have this AC diffuser line right here at the drop ceiling. So ceilings are all simplified. All we have up there is these uh, recessed and trimless ceiling lights. Really nice. Beautiful space. Now, let's talk about this phenomenal kitchen. Dual islands, beautiful white oak cabinetry. I love that marble back wall. We have the first island right here with bar seating, cabinetry on the other side. These are neolit countertops, man-made, incredibly durable. So I wanted to mention that, and of course they have the waterfall edge and we have the marble on the base cabinets there. Paneled in cabinetry continues. You have your wine fridge here freezer, your Gaggenau fridge, sorry, Mikey, let's get a close up. There you go. There we go. <laughs> Second try. Uh, beautifully dressed. And as we go in, Mikey, you know, we got to check the corner cabinet, see oh. what kind of hardware they have. And they have a good one here. I think we talk too much about this every time you <laughs> see know. it. So I'm not going to mention it this time. Also, Mikey, stay close for a second. Between each doors, they have this beautiful stainless reveal as well as these uh, door handles. I wanted to mention that. It just looks very elegant. Yeah, it looks nice. All right. On this side, we have the marble countertops. Of course, book matched beautifully right in the center. And I love that they kind of didn't put any upper cabinets here to showcase that marble. And because kitchen is kind of dialed in this section with no windows, to compensate the natural light, they have a skylight right above. We don't miss any details. That's what we do. Now, sink set up here, which is a, again, very unique design. I love this. Mikey, can we get a close up here? So this is water filtration system. You pull this way, it's hot water. Oh, like wow. boiling hot water. You can see the steam. I've actually- uh... The other side, you get uh, cold water. When I was growing up, one of my friends uh, had this at his family home and I was always really jealous of that, you know? <laughs> Little things like this, I think that's such a brilliant touch. Yeah. Now, let's see, not this one, dishwasher number one, all Gagano appliances. We have the dishwasher number two, never mind. Here, there you go. Open shelving. Let's focus on this side. We have the griddle, uh, gas cooked up, vent above, this whole open design. And look at the cabinetry. Isn't this amazing? That's really nice. And I might be one of the few people out there that knows that it's one of your big goals in life to have a griddle. So I'm sure you like that. I know. I, I love that detail. For sure, I'm having that in my future house. Yeah. Now, this is the secondary island setup. More built-ins, again, another corner cabinet, um, your oven setups, your microwave. And let's see, there you go. Mikey, we need another close-up. There's a lot of cool details in this kitchen. We got to point out. So. It looks like a cabinet, right? This is your appliance drawer. Check this out. Ready for these doors? They pocket nicely into the wall. And even here, they cladded with natural stone and you have your plugs here, LED lighting. You said, that, you said this is like a appliance drawer? Like it's trying to keep like a Nespresso or something? Nespresso, toaster, that kind of stuff. Yeah, Blender. Yeah. And you have your espresso maker still. Overall, this is a beautiful kitchen design. I love the dual islands, white oak cabinetry, paneled in ceilings, just looks gorgeous. Now, we spoke about these automatic doors. In fact, why don't we open them right now and go check out the backyard? I mean, these doors are fantastic. They're super quiet. Push of a button, they pop it into the wall, open up the entire space of the backyard. Yeah, they're really nice. Uh, we've been seeing these more lately, but let's talk about this backyard. It's a super clear day. First off, these amazing views, which are incredible. And they use the same limestone floors also in the backyard as well. And we're gonna talk about the pool section and all, but first, Mikey, let's go this way and cover the outdoor barbecue area, which is right here. They also use natural stone to clad the island as well as the base cabinets here. We have a gate opening up from the driveway that is allowing you to access to the backyard without having to go through the house. And as we look closely, we have the sink set up here, kegerator, nice detail, more base cabinets, outdoor grill, and a small fridge right there. Now, let's talk about this amazing 50 foot, zero edge, infinity edge pool. It's very sleek and minimal. We have the spa right here, Baja shelf in the center, looking towards the amazing views. And I love that they 
clad the whole coping and edge of the pool with this uh, marble. And Mikey, can we get a close up right there? That side of the marble is actually a little bit more shiny because right here, they sandblasted the marble to give it a little bit more texture as you walk into the pool. As we continue, we have outdoor seating areas here, more outdoor seating area on this side with a fire pit right in the center. Again, your living room, dining area all opens up to this amazing space, beautifully hedged. We sit on a promontory, so you get amazing, amazing views. And as we continue, this deck wraps around. We have the primary bedroom right in front of us and the side patio space here, which you can access from your primary bedroom and primary bathroom. That's all really nice, but can we just talk about this view one more time? It's uh, it's a perfect day. Yeah, it really is. Like we, we rarely get zero haze days, but we got a little bit of rain earlier and it's one of the best days I've ever seen in LA. I totally agree. I mean, that's downtown LA. You see almost the entire city. You're high up, you get these amazing views. It's super private. You don't have any neighbors. You sit on a promontory, but also you're three to four minutes away from Sunset Strip, probably six to seven minutes away from Beverly Hills. You're in a perfect location. Honestly, it doesn't get much better than this. That's true. Now, that's it for the backyard. Why don't we go in, go through the living room and check out the primary bedroom. I think I mentioned earlier, obviously we have these beautiful white oak panels and that's the staircase going down to the lower level, which is also incredible. And we have an additional second uh, 10 foot pivot door here, opening up to the primary bedroom. This might be one of my favorite primary bedroom suites we have recently toured. It's super spacious. I love the wood paneling. Same limestone floors are also here. We have the bed situated on this side and they kind of have this recessed in section right in the center where we have the bed and the same wood paneling continues and draws your eye towards this marble gas fireplace. TV above and they also have these uh, layers of lighting right behind it. Overall, it's an amazing space. We have a seating area on that side with automatic glass doors opening up to the side patio. Right here, open corner design. Again, automatic doors opening up to these amazing views. Yeah, it's really nice, but even cooler, we have a little detail we haven't really seen before. So we have drapes and shears that close around the whole uh, outline of the bedroom but it's cool because they actually go around the corner. Exactly, I like that detail. Soft little turn and there you go. You get the privacy you want unless you're sick of looking at these amazing views. Yeah, yeah, you gotta, you gotta get some sleep sometimes. Let's, there you go, let's open them up. Yeah, let's, uh, let's move on. All right, overall this is a great size bedroom and as we continue, white oak paneling continues and right here, we actually left it open. I wanted to leave it closed for you guys. We have a wet bar, but you can seal it off just like this if you would like to. If not, you leave it open. It has marble countertops, small fridge, and a sink setup. Now, we have another pocket door right here, sealing off the closet. It's a very spacious room. We have the island right in the center with the same marble countertops that we saw at the wet bar chandelier above beautiful paneled in cabinetry ton of open shelving i like these track systems because you can customize them however you like hangers led lighting cold lighting detail at the ceiling overall everything you need and going to the other side another pocket door right here opens up to your primary bathroom this bathroom is very elegant we have a floating vanity design right here two sinks marble countertops book match right in the center. And they also did a tall backsplash detail. And the same white oak cabinetry is actually brought up around the mirrors as well with these LED strip lighting, wall sconces. Also, just like the primary bedroom, we have floor to ceiling glass doors here, pocketing into the walls, opening up to the side patio where you have the amazing views. And right in front of me, we have the freestanding tub, tub filler on this side, and Mikey, can we pan up to the ceiling? We have the secondary tub filler right there. Wow, we haven't uh, we haven't seen one of those in a long time. Can we uh, can we turn that thing on for the people, or is, is it going to splash? No, it's going to splash. We're not going to do that. We're going to keep it clean. All right, fine. Now, of course, we have the automatic shades also here, and going this way, we have this gorgeous, incredible walk-in shower. And I love how this marble extends beyond this walk-in shower and serves as a back wall as well. We have brush nickel hardware handheld shower head, rain head above, 
and I just realized they also clad the ceiling with this beautiful marble. It's book matched, bench design here. It's all glass, all open. And from your walk and shower, you get these amazing downtown Los Angeles views. Yeah, I don't think there's a shower in the city where you get views of downtown like this. Incredible. Lastly, we have two water closets. First one here and second one on this side. And that wraps our tour on this floor. Now let's take the stairs and go check out the lower level. All right, everyone, as we are going down to the lower level, we have this landing area between each floor and this beautiful painting right here. I was told that they created this painting using the leftover materials from this construction site. So you guys can see all the drywall, plaster, paint that they used to create this art. As we are going down, we have a beautiful steel staircase design, open riser. We have LED lighting underneath each one of the threads and we're at the landing of the lower floor. Now, before we continue our tour, right there, right behind the staircase, we actually have a door that is opening up to a panic room, which is very unique. They have a sofa there with fresh air supply, small fridge, security cameras, plugs, everything you need. It has concrete walls on all three sides and the door on this side is actually reinforced with steel. So I wanted to mention that. Now, as we continue this hallway, this door opens up to a smaller guest suite that has an egress access and a full bathroom that has a walk-in shower. And now this door leads us to the car gallery. Come on in. This is a very spacious car gallery that is located on the lower level of this home. We have two parking spots here, two more on this side, recess lights throughout, and that's the street access right there. So you have two doors that lets you into this car gallery. We have some built-in shelving right here. And to top it all off, I'm standing on top of this turntable right here where you can showcase your car and just kind of helps you utilize this uh, garage a little bit better. Yeah, when we first walked in here, I was like, you know, is this really necessary? Like, it just spins your car around. And when I thought about it, no, it's way more than that. You can fit as many cars in here as you like now because you pull your car in, you can fit into those tight corners on each side of the room. I agree. It allows you to maximize your usage in this garage, without a doubt. Now. Let's go back to the hallway and continue our tour. We have some built-in cabinets here, 600 bottle wine wall that is temperature controlled. And that's the first thing you see as you come down to the lower level. As we continue, we got a lot to see on this level, but first off, let's go this way. We have a powder room on the left with beautiful floating vanity and marble countertops. This door opens up to the laundry room. You have base cabinets, sink setup, uppers, two washers and two dryers. And this door opens up to a full bathroom with a walk-in shower that also has steam shower as well and a floating vanity design. Now, as we go back to the hallway, we have beautiful white oak, white plank hardwood floors throughout this level. And this massive pivot door opens up to the junior primary suite. Yeah. Uh... Let's talk about this pivot door for a second. It seems like we're right under the primary beth bedroom right now. Which Correct. Had the same size door. I wanted to talk about it up there, but can we close that just to show people how big that is? This thing is massive. Yeah. That could easily be a front door at any modern house in LA. Correct. Uh, it's huge. It's impressive. All right, come on in. This bedroom's honestly just as spacious as the upstairs primary bedroom. We have a seating area up front, same hardwood floors, King size bed situated on this side. I like these ceiling mount light fixtures on each side of the bed. And Mikey, you gotta come out here. You know why? Look at the views you get from the bed. Amazing. Yeah, I can't imagine waking up to a view of downtown Los Angeles like that every morning. It's pretty awesome. It's incredible. And they have the same automatic doors here, built-in shades. And this side also gets a side patio that wraps around the lower level. And as we continue, more built-ins. Gorgeous marble, gas fireplace, TV above. And of course, this suite also gets a phenomenal bathroom. And it starts right here. Floating vanity design. I love the towel rack on the bottom that goes into the shower. We have steam, rain head above, clad with natural stone, vanity designed, and water closet. Now, 
let's go back to the landing of the lower level and talk about the entertainment space. So this side of the home is phenomenal. We have the pool table right in the center with chandelier above. Bar design here and the living room for the lower level. Let's start on this side. We have a gorgeous island here, clad with marble, has that lettered finish, bar seating on the other side, dual elevation. You get your sink, let's see, small fridge. You have your ice maker, we love these. And I, like, I love these. Check this out. Dishwasher drawers. Very nice. This is my other goal in life. Have uh, dishwasher drawers in my bar setup. Well, start with a griddle. <laughs> we'll work our way there. Yeah. So more cabinetry here. Obviously, uh, same natural stone marble used as a backsplash here. Some open shelving. And every single part of this home, you enjoy these amazing views. Patio actually extends out here a little bit more. And we have the same automatic doors that pockets into the walls so you get that indoor outdoor feel and enjoy the patio space now we have the seating area here same white oak panels tv setup and as we continue like i mentioned earlier we have the pool setup here pool table and these two doors open up to the movie theater of course this home has an incredible movie theater because it has everything else also dual elevation carpet floors comfortable seating we have the TV situated on this side with some built-ins, 4K projector above, surround sound. All the speakers are actually clad behind these uh, paneled walls, LED strip lighting. It's a nice cozy space. And to top it all off, we actually have a small bar on this side with the same white oak panels and a small fridge. Now let's go out and continue our tour. We're back at the main space and we have this glass enclosed section right here, which leads you to your gym. We have more built-ins, mirror setup, same glass doors, wraparound deck also continues here. Your massage tables, another great space. Lastly, we have this hallway here leading us to two spacious guest suites. Let's go check them out. The first one starts here. We have the bed situated on this side, floor to ceiling glass doors opening up to a lower patio shared by these two guest suites. Another cozy room that has built-in closets on the right and this is where we have the bathroom. Mosaic marble floors and this one actually gets a tub set up clad with marble and they use the same floor tiles in the shampoonage as well. Chrome fixtures, floating vanity with LED lit mirror. Now let's go out and for the guest suite right next door which starts right here it's another spacious room just like the other side king size bed sliding glass doors opening up to a lower patio even here you have the automatic shades and going in we have the bathroom here it has the same mosaic marble floors like the other bathroom but this one actually gets a walk-in shower set up chrome fixtures floating vanity and another great bathroom now that wraps our tour on the lower level, but of course we're gonna spend three more hours here, wait for the sun to go down so we can see this place at dusk. Alright everyone, that's it for the tour. We had a chance to tour this property during the day and now at night and it looks simply stunning. Also, this home was designed by the late Austin Kelly, sits on this amazing promontory, gets phenomenal views of the entire city. On the interior, I love all the wood tones, marbles, and that kitchen is simply stunning. I'm really glad we had a chance to tour this property and share it with all of you. And for that, I want to thank the listing agents, Sally Forster Jones and Vincent DeMuro for allowing us to tour their amazing listing. More information on the home and the property link will be down in the description. Make sure to check that out as well. And I hope you enjoyed this video. 
If you did, make sure to give us a like. If you have any questions or input, as always, leave us a comment down below. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to our channel, even hit the notification bell, and we'll see you guys next week. <music>